Let all mortal flesh keep silence And with fear and trembling stand Ponder nothing earthly minded For with blessing it is Good day to everyone. Father Tony here with another Lenten Reflection for your consideration. We've just gone through Palm Sunday. We are now in the midst of Holy Week. And I would suggest to you that the readings of this Holy Week all point towards the necessity of Jesus Christ in our lives. Yes, Jesus is the one individual in human history who changed history from our fallen, sinful, hopeless state of life to one of a hopeful, possible holiness of life eternal. Jesus is that servant of God. That's from Monday's readings who does the work of God, who strengthens the children of God, who shows the love and the power of God, who gives new life to those living in sin. Remember how he raised Lazarus. Jesus is the arrow in God's quiver. That's from the Tuesday readings. Who will not betray us, no, rather be the one to conquer evil in this life, who is to lead Israel and all of us ever toward the kingdom promised. Jesus gives us direct access to God, our Father, That's from the Wednesday readings. He opens the ears of all sinners, (laughs) that's you and me, that we might hear the word of God. He supports us as we contend with betrayal and evil in this life. Remember, he was betrayed by Judas. He's the very love and the power of God, Jesus is. He is the one who justifies the many, thanks be to God, through the works of salvation, and which we will again celebrate during the Triduum of this week. Today, then, I ask each of you to reflect upon your own uniqueness. The history of the world would not be the same without you, by your work, your struggles, your accomplishments. And so remember, you too are called to be one who changes human history. Change the history by your faith journey, by accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. You too are called to be a servant, by truly loving and serving all those you meet. And you too should lead others to God, not just family not just children, but all that you meet by your example in life and in faith, especially in this time of trial. You too must work to justify all, to help loved ones arrive at the promised kingdom of God by your love and by your forgiveness, especially for of all those who have offended you in any way. You know, Lent is a time, a season of change. It's a time for what's known as metanoia, an about face, a change in life a time to begin to truly live the good news in a newer way, in a more faithful way. It's a time to truly live in the gospel, especially when difficulties and difficult times occur, like now with the coronavirus. Lent is a time to live the kingdom of God even now, the kingdom that Jesus preached, the kingdom that Jesus lived, the kingdom for which Jesus died, and the kingdom of which he rose again in life eternal. Today, then, I'd ask you to reflect upon your Lenten experience, yes. Today, become that unique child of God. Today, be that true Christian disciple that God calls you to be. May Jesus, Son of God, our brother, who died that we might live, be with us always to be our healer of soul and body, to bless us and to be our salvation. To all then, may the blessing of our God of love come upon us in this time of need. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day, and everyone stay healthy.